Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In today's video, we're going to take a short introductory look at pivot charts. Now, pivot charts are basically a visual representation of a pivot table in Excel, and it can be a useful, quick tool for helping you visualize your data. So we're going to start by inserting our pivot chart. And to do this, we go to our Insert tab. We come over to our Charts group and go and click this Pivot Chart button. And similar to a pivot table, it will ask you to select your data. So I'm going to select this table here. Once you've got it and making sure that you're putting it in where you want to put it in, we click OK. And it will come up with these boxes, which is basically asking you to select the fields that you want to include in your chart. So for this one, I'm going to include the year as my horizontal axis. I'm going to put in the name of my local authority as a filter. And then I'm going to include some of these totals as values. So if we make our pivot chart a little bit bigger. So what it's done here is it's looked at our data, it's put it in as a bar chart, and it's included some little drop downs where we can filter. So if we look at this drop down up here, you can filter by a particular area. So for example, if I just want to look at the Northwest, click OK. It will just show me the data for that particular region. You can also filter using this filter button over here in your pivot table. You can also select multiple items. So say I want to look at the North East and the Northwest together. It'll give me that data. You can also filter down here. You can filter your horizontal axis and potentially just look, say you only want to look at three years of data and select those and it will update your pivot chart automatically. Pivot charts can be quite useful in a dashboard where you quickly want to generate a chart that's summarizing your data in a particular way. Similar to any other charts within Excel, when you're clicked into the chart, it will come up with this design and format button up here. And if we click on these, you can have a play around with how your chart looks. You can use the quick layout to change the layout of your chart, add any chart elements that you want. Or if we come over to this type group, we can click on change chart type and pick from all the other chart types that you might want. If you'd like to know a little bit more about setting up your charts, I've got a number of other videos on this topic. So that's a really simple and quick introduction to pivot charts in Excel. If there's anything particular that you'd like to know, please do leave me a comment. I'd also really love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. I hope that you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you on a future video.